One one draw here at Wolves. What was your thoughts on the performance? Yeah, pleasing performance. Um, you know, and certainly, you know, uh, a thanks to our supporters who've travelled all through through the season, the last away journey. Um, you know, and they'll have been pleased with what they saw. I thought really disciplined first half without the ball. Um, you know, allowed their outside centre backs to have the ball and um, stop Neves and Moutinho from opening us up and restricted them to very few chances. And, uh, you know, if, if two had his, uh, his normal shooting boots on, he'd, he'd probably have scored a hat-trick in the first half. But he got the one and I'm pleased for him um, because his runs that he made today were, there, were excellent and he caused them problems, as you saw with, with Connor Cody coming off at half-time. Um, disappointed with the result in the end because uh, I didn't think it was a foul for their, their goal. Um, you know, it's two yards in front of us and two yards in front of the linesman and we've seen it clearly on the replay. Dimi toes the ball through him, but unfortunately they haven't gone for us this season and, uh, you know, they ask us why we're so all right when we've got nothing to play for, but, you know, that I believe Watford got beat, so that would have put us above Watford today if we win that game and, um, you know, so I'm annoyed at that, but uh, pleased with the performance today. Um, you went five at the back. Um, what was you thinking when there? Was it um, trying to combat Wolves? No, it was pretty much to stop the bleeding. We've conceded too many goals over the last four games since we got relegated, um, three games, um, and conceded too many big chances as well. So we wanted an extra man in, in, uh, at the back. Um, you know, we felt you know probably. The ones who would want the ball, we'd want the opposition to have the ball was their two outside centre backs, and I thought we'd done that well. We shifted, shifted, um, shifted across the pitch really well, and we wanted to stop their two sixes getting time and space on the ball, which we did well as well. So, um, you know, it was a really disciplined performance from us today, and one of our our weapons, if you want to call it, is is our attacking transitions and. You know, there's no one better than than Timu Puki with it, with his movements, and um, unfortunately, he didn't get a couple more. And it was un unfortunate the the goal we conceded. You mentioned the foul there, but after that, the def team defended very well for the rest of the second half as well. Yeah, we did. Uh, I think they had one cross and a header um, where where Gunny's made a really good save. But other than that, I don't think they troubled him too much. Um, so our defensive line was really good and, um, and we got closer to people today, which is what we, we've been lacking a little bit. So maybe just putting that one extra player in the back line has, has helped us today. And now it's looking ahead to Spurs and, and the goal of trying to finish above Watford and, and also put on a good performance at Carroll Road for the, for the fans as well. Yeah, no, it's really important and you could see you know, after the game, we wanted to go and show our appreciation to the supporters for, you know, the travels that they've done this season, supporting us, and um, we want to go and get, give them a good send off now uh, for the summer. Um, you know, we've, uh, you know, the hope for next season, and um, you know, we, we are planning and getting ready for it and build up that togetherness uh, between the whole club again.